Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Complete home renovation. How it is to live in a complete crazy home renovation. Woo! What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? It is a Minnesota Beast at Home Reno Renovations. That's right, Home Renovations. Working on my fixer upper house, making a lots of home improvements on this old house that we bought to purchase, and we gutted it all out, hauled all out all kinds of old house materials, demo. It is early. It is whoo, it's early. It's around 5 a.m. right now. And I just went on to my lumber yard to see about looking at ordering some more 2x4s and lumber and 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x12s, 2x8s. All my naughty pine that's going to be going on into this uh, living room area, man cave. And to start getting all my material for my future wet bar. And for the rest of my bathroom that's back in that way. And for my uh, tool room that is in this area. And I wasn't too happy. Lumber prices went up again. It is March 10th, Wednesday of 2021. This time last year... I was purchasing at one of my local lumber yards, which isn't a box store. It ain't a Menards. It ain't a Home Depot. It ain't a Lowe's. It's just your little store Lambert's. And I was paying $349 a 2x4 for 8 footers, okay? For example. Or I would buy 16 footers too. And I buy all kinds of other lumber for outside the house and for the upstairs. Last week. I cringed. I bought 40 new 2x4s at 8 foot. The stack that was right here. And I was paying $8.49 a 2x4 at my local lumber yard, which doesn't charge me a delivery fee, but the delivery fee's hidden, right? Uh, now I went on to Menards and Home Depot, and their lumber just went up again. It's seven oh nine a two by four for eight footers. So if you're wondering why I'm framing the way I am, like stick framing, it's because I had some boards that were not so good. I uh, so I, I'm doing what I can do. I'm splicing them. I'm making fourteen and a half inch rips or fourteen and a half inch cuts and stubbing them into my sixteen on centers. Of course, right. Because those boards were all, woo, crappy. Because, you know, you get those crappy boards. I sent back some when I uh, got 40 new ones. I sent, like, 10 back. Or, no, sorry. It was 20. I sent 20 back. At least they exchanged them for some new ones and some better straight ones. But for the most part, I try to, I try to use the material because, you know, somebody had to make it, right? Somebody had to make it. I am working on my... Uh, man cave right now living room and for my basement I'm doing my uh, entertainment wall where I'm gonna have a TV fireplace and so on so on but uh, I don't want to put too much into that this video I was just ranting about prices on lumber so why prices are so high well it's just the, the economy it's the way it is right now right Anybody else having this problem, trying to work on their house or any projects and going, these, these, these have gone up 130% since last year at this time. And that ain't no joke. 130%, like I said, at my local highway robbery lumberyard, I paid $350, $349. Now I'm paying $850. At a box store, I could pay seven ten. So I'm working a little bit slow on this basement, hoping that the lumberyard prices start to go down. 
Whew, I hope everything else doesn't keep going up. Anyhow, I just wanted to rant. I'm just a little upset about it, but it's what it is, right? Hey, if lumberyard prices are going up for lumber, and it's because we have a short supply right now because of all the disasters and everything, I understand. But make sure the guys and the ladies that are making this lumber are getting paid more damn money, right? Because we have to pay out our asses, right? So they should be paying, getting paid more money, right? That's, I, that, that's just what I think. What do you think? Should they get the same damn wage to make the same damn lumber that we're having to pay 130% more on? I don't know. Just a thought. Food for thought. Woo! Have yourself a great Wednesday. This was just a random rant video on lumber prices and how they keep going up. I hope they go down before the end of this year.